Mariska and today I am here with the wonderful artist Alcid. Alcid, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Would you mind sharing a little bit of what you do and who you are? I'm a French Tunisian artist and I use actually calligraphy Arabic script as my main medium. Um, most of my work is in the public space as Big Mural and since a few years now I start doing uh, sculpture as well and, and I do also some studio works. I work more and more into canvases but uh, I really enjoy painting in the public space. That's what I enjoy the most. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's very interesting. Did your, did your art start in the UAE itself or no, where did no, no, you no. start? No, no, I started, uh, I've been, since I'm a kid, I, I paint, so it's uh, it's uh, it's been a growing thing, you know, and uh, in the late 90s I discovered graffiti when I was in Paris, and then I got a quest of uh, a crisis, identity crisis, born and raised in France from Tunisian parents, yeah, I couldn't find my my path, and then I, um, I ran back to my Arabic roots, so I started um, learning how to read and write Arabic, and this is how I discovered calligraphy, and then just came back, and all started building up, but uh, now I'm in the UAE, it's been like five years, but I've been painting for that more than 20 years now. Amazing, same as me, I've also been here five years. It's a mix of calligraphy and, uh, and, and graffiti. It's, uh, it's a reappropriation of Arabic script in a certain way, a kind of modernization. But it was not thought. It was just it just happened in such an organic way. And uh, and yeah, so you know, I don't always people try to give words to what you do or like define yourself in a certain way. But um, for me, I, I'm just an artist, you know, and I try to express myself and try to build bridges between people, generation, and culture, and, uh, and that's, I guess, the main goal of my work. Okay, well, that's wonderful. Well, your pieces is amazing. One of my favorite is the one at Green Planet. Oh, okay, I thank always, you. when I drive past, I'm like, wow, this looks amazing. Thank I you. just love it. That's thank my you. favorite one. Thanks. So far, I'm sure there's going to be many more. I hope. I did this project called Perception, which is a, a, a mural, an anamorphic piece. It means that you can only see it from one focal point. But we painted over um, more than 60 facade, uh, 50 facades. And, um, and it was inside the neighborhood of the Cairo garbage collector. So we got so much difficulties, you know, like uh, I mean, in terms of logistics, but in terms of uh, experience, it was the most amazing experience that I've lived. It was just. Uh, I don't know. This is the kind of project that I love to do. You know, it was a personal initiative, self-funded. So we just went and we took care of it and we did it. But it took us one year to prepare it and uh, one month to execute it. 
and it was quite hard, you know, getting getting everyone's approval. And there was no approval at all. It was just uh, we just had to convince the priest, and then when the priest, which is the leader of the community, approved, because I mean, the police doesn't go there, taxi they don't go there. Like a lot of people, they scared to go there. When actually they are the most amazing people that I met in my life, you know. And, uh, and just yesterday night, one of them called me, you know, to tell me that he was getting married in in June. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, here, like when you're in the middle of Dubai, of course you get authorization, but on this one, it's you find your way, and that's what I love actually about what I do. Is that's what I love the most is when I do my own stuff, when I go and just improvise. Do the project? Wow, that's amazing. Because it is also something that's very close to my heart is the whole, you know, like the recycling. Because that's my main medium, yeah. like you know. So that project, and I also saw the video that was that was done on that. That was really brilliant. Thank you. So I would recommend you guys do watch it. I will link it below so you can you. see it. artist you know, like people have this idea of artists that just go sit on the beach or like go on the top of a mountain and sit down and get inspired I think for me just like a kind of performance that uh, for me doesn't apply you know there's not one thing or another one that inspires me what I try to do I think is like more people or places that inspire me stuff like inspiration comes like that you know mm. it's not that something that just you have an idea you see something then you have an idea and then you try to develop it you don't have a concept or something that just comes like that. This is a work that you do. And people think that as an artist, you have an ID box that you open and say, oh, you have stuff inside it. No, it's, uh, yes, yeah, the people you meet, it's, uh, yeah, it's places that you visit, books that you read. It's more how I, I think that's where inspiration is coming from. It's not just one thing. And Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to go against this kind of formats of artists, you know, like how artists should be seen or how artists are seen, you know, um, yeah. No, that's true because um, I feel a lot of people think, you know, yeah, like, you know, when you're an artist, that's kind of your mindset and yeah. people automatically put artists in this box, but, true. you know, that that is, that's not the case. No. Each artist is different yeah, and each one's got a different style. I can say two favorite cities. I think the city uh, where I was born, Paris, because my friend and family are there, and uh, and Gabès, which is my city, my homeland. You know where my my parents are from. But I, I'm from there as well, even if I was born in Tunisia, uh, in France. So it's uh, yeah, you know, and why? It's just because they're close to my heart. Uh, I think yeah. That's, uh, maybe this is not the most amazing city for people, Gabes, but for me, my family is there. I have like all my childhood memories from the summer over there, so and um, for me, that's that's what is important. Uh, I can connect emotionally to those places. Yeah, so it will always have a special place for you yeah. as well, no matter where you are. Yeah. You'll always love yeah. going back there yeah. as well. That's brilliant.
front of one of your newest um, pieces in at the Dubai Opera. Yeah. Would you mind sharing a little bit about that? Uh, and how did this project come about? I mean, this is not something that happened overnight. No, we, it's, a, it's a project that we initiated almost like a, two years ago, and officially two years ago, started the process of discussing. And then it took us almost a year and a half to uh, design this and build it, the sculpture. And now actually it's a two-dimensional and three-dimensional work. So it's a, a painting that goes on the background and then a three-dimensional sculpture that just floats in and out of the wall. So it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a lot of work, you know, like almost more than 50 people involved into it, so it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Oh, that is a, a lot, and I mean, I've been here now a few times, and every time, like, everyone's busy, like, you know, it's really, it's hard yeah. work, and this is just the installation part. I yeah. mean, all of the prep work before was, yeah. was quite hard as well. And so, what does the calligraphy, um, or like, what what is the meaning behind Actually, it? Like, the meaning is more about the, the symbolic of it, you know, it's, uh, I took the same sh color and the same shape as this, um, uh, this installation that I created was a temporary uh, in 2014 at Tashkir, was called the Declaration. It was the, it was the first time I translated my work from 2D to 3D. It was the love declaration to Arabic calligraphy. And uh, I wanted to tell the same concept because this was temporary and this art piece is uh, uh, permanent. Yeah. I wanted to recreate the same feeling as a kind of love declaration to Arabic calligraphy or like, for me it's like more people that can take it the way they want to love the creation to themselves because I know a lot of people who take selfie in front of it. So that was the spirit of it. It's, um, this is what was it? It was all about that. So I feel like I just close one set yeah. of my life with this one. This will be done, paint in pink, installed there. It will be the uh, yeah. It will be like closing this chapter of declaration that started four years ago. Oh, that sounds brilliant. Well, I can't wait until it's actually finished to see the final result. I know there's a lot of people been posting about it the whole time, yeah. like what it's going to look like. So when when will it be finished? Yeah, I cannot tell you because even me, I don't know. <laughs> Just every day we have like new surprises. It's, uh, it's yeah. a crazy project. So okay. yeah, it's in, involved like uh, constructing, construction, engineering, so much logistics, so much human, yeah. human management, artistics. I mean, uh, process, so it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff. And I'm in the middle of all this, trying to deal with everybody, so it's, uh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, um, definitely watch out for the project. It yeah. should be done. Any young artist starting out? So once, uh, once I met an artist called Christo and, uh, and he told me uh, what is good for me won't be good for you as well. And um, me, the only advice that I can give, and it might not work for everybody, is just be true to yourself, don't try to copy anybody, be inspired, stay humble and true to yourself and don't, don't be cool on social media. Like being, having followers and like doesn't doesn't equal to talent or to anything, you know, so it's a... Uh, and I feel today we're too much into this social media feeling, you know, and me sometimes I get tired of it, I just want to throw my phone. Yeah. And even when I don't post for weeks, people, they ask me, oh, what's wrong, Elsie? And I'm like, guys, you know, like, I'm just focusing to my work. And I know I waste so much time on this today, you know. Yeah. But it's a way also to share your process and share, you know, what you do with people, but I think don't get caught up into this social media trend. That's dangerous. Yeah, I think a lot of people think, you know, if, you, if you've if you got a few followers and you've got that, then automatically you're good. And, no, no, no. You know, um, not, no. And, you know, a lot of people focus more on that yeah. than, like, mastering their actual yeah, art. So, um, so I do believe as an artist, yeah, like the social media aspect in, in a day like today it is important, but that shouldn't be your main yeah, focus. Like, you know, you need to focus on your yeah, art as well. Uh, 
channel, I would like to give you one of my blackboards. Thank you. So this is made of recycled Nespresso capsules okay, wow. that I just like to take and create and then that's a little okay. Swarovski crystal. So Thank you can use it Thank and you. make little notes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks. So, Thank you, Mariska. Thank you so much for yeah, agreeing to the interview. I know you're really busy. It's so good. You know, we need to. It's, yeah. so, it's important that artists uh, connect as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and go and create something beautiful. Thank you. That's it. the artist Christo and uh, Christo is this artist who do, do this kind of crazy installation and once he uh see yeah. Hello, hi. 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 hi Janus. Hi Janus. I'm the architect for the opera. Oh wow, okay. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Amazing. Really nice. so, so conversation that we yeah. creating. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you.